Hello everybody, I'm Dan. This tutorial is about adding bytes, in other words, binary addition. Uh, first things first, let's go and open up our web browser to my website, thegpu.com. And we're gonna select menu and we'll go this route here, see tutorials. Okay, we're gonna scroll down here to adding bytes, binary addition, and we're gonna select that tutorial. So now my last tutorial, Bits and Bytes, I discussed the basics of the binary numbering system and how bytes are stored in memory. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss the fundamentals of how addition is performed at the lowest level. Now addition is one of the simplest operations and once you understand how it works, you'll be able to grasp more advanced memory management concepts. One of the things I just want to reiterate in that Bits and Bytes is that everything C is all about managing your own memory there. So let's talk about the short data type. I haven't introduced that to get yet, but um, it's fairly simple there. Uh, now think of the short data type as the younger sibling of the int data type. It is smaller and takes up less space, in other words, memory, right? Typically, the short data type is a two byte, which encompasses 16 bits value on most platforms. Now a variable of short data type holding a value of zero would look like this. And that's a total of 16 zeros. Now, when displaying the binary value of variables, I prefer to put a space between the various bytes like this, okay? So, byte number one, byte number two. Um, now, just understand that there is no spacing in the actual physical memory. Now, here are some representations of random short data type values in binary, okay? So, one, obviously, see, you know, uh, the first byte here is all zeros, and then the one occupies the rightmost bit here right? Uh, two is this one here. Here's three, which is two plus one. You know, if, if it doesn't make sense to you, definitely go back through the bits and bytes video and do everything like that, right? But four, eight, 16, 32, all the way up here to 16,384, right? We're just basically shifting this one bit up here. This is two to the third, two to the fourth, two to the fifth, so on and so forth there, okay? Now, um, I'm not going to shift the bit over again, and I'll explain why. In other words, I'm not going to move this one into here, and that's kind of comes into, into play later on there. So, Now, performing addition. Binary addition is performed similar to the way we were taught to add base 10 numbers when we were children. Now, we stack the numbers and then start adding them together. These are some basic rules right here, and I'll go over them real quick there and then give you some examples so they make sense. So if a zero and a zero are added, then we place a zero underneath the column. So um, as you can see like this zero and this zero, we bring down a zero here. Now if a zero and a one are added, we place a one underneath the column. So you see we've got a one here and a zero, and then we place a one right there. Now if a one and a one are added, we place a zero underneath the column and we carry one to the next column, all right? So right here we have a one and a one being added place the zero here and we carry a one over to this next column. Now if a zero, a one, and a carried one are added, we place a zero underneath the column. That's because these two ones right here cancel each other out, right? So here we have a zero, a one, and a carried one. We place the zero right here and we move the one back, we carry the one back over, okay? Now, if a zero, zero, and a carry one are added, we place a one underneath the column, which is a zero, zero, and a one. We end up with a one. Okay, so looking at this math right here, right? Uh, we move down our one and a one, so you can see the binary one represented by this, the binary two represented by this, and that equals three. One plus two is three, right? One plus three, which is, you know, this value, this value, basically equals four, which is, this is uh, the, the two to the power of two right here column, okay? Uh, three and three, right? Uh, we start with a one, one, that's a zero. We carry the one up here. We've got a one, one, those cancel each other out in zero and this carried one right here. And these ones that cancel each other out, we basically carry them over on the next column and that right there is six, right? Four plus two. Um, and then over here, last example, uh, nine, right, which is we've got a one in the eight column and then a one in the ones column. Eight plus one, nine, and you can see all the carrying we do right here. One, one, zero, carry that up, these ones, put a zero down there, we carry that one up again, these two produce a zero, carry that one up again, these two ones produce a zero, and we end up with 16, right, which is, this is one, two, four, eight, 16. <coughs> 
Okay, now let's just briefly discuss the leftmost bit. Now the leftmost bit represents the signed value of the short data type, either positive or negative. Now that is the reason why I did not shift a one into the two to the 15th slot above, okay? If I would have shifted that over here, it would make it a negative value, but it wouldn't be what you'd expect, okay? But I will dis uh, don't even worry about this now. I will discuss this in detail in my next tutorial. Just know that it is there. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna move this off screen here real quick. And we're gonna open up our command prompt here. And I got a shortcut on the desktop. If you don't have one, uh, you can right click, select new shortcut. Matter of fact, if you don't have one, watch my tutorial on installing GCC and make sure you get that configured properly. I'm just gonna open that up, change directories. Um, if you've been following my, well, change directories, the backslash. And you know what, I, I'm skipping over that, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go back and rehash that there. So if you don't have a shortcut, you can create one new shortcut because someone just might be stumbling across this video here. CMD, next and finish, it's just that easy. When you open it up, type in GCC, right? You should get fatal error, non input files, compilation terminated. However, if you get uh, something like, you know, unrecognized command or keyword there, then, um, you know, you need to watch my video on installing GCC and get that configured directly. CD backslash, change to the root. I'm gonna make a directory here called cdemo, and I already have that folder, but if you don't, we'll create it for you. We're gonna change directories to cdemo, and we're going to create another directory here called uh, binary edition. <coughs> change directories to that binary edition folder. And we're going to install a Notepad. You could do Notepad, but I'm going to use Notepad++. Install it. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, it's not like an IDE or anything like that, but it does have some capabilities of like syntax help with IDE stuff. Um, so binary edition, but otherwise you can use this regular old um, Notepad. <clears throat> and creating a file called binary edition.c. Okay, let's uh, bring this back over here. So we've just done that right there. Um, now what we're going to do is highlight everything in here and copy that. And then we'll just come over here and paste it. Okay. Um, pretty standard so far here. Don't, don't worry about this print bits if you watched my last video. But now inside of the main method here, I'm declaring a short S1 and I'm initializing it to value of 0, S2, 2, and S3 I'm basically performing the addition right there while initializing it, saying S1 plus S2. So, um, And then throughout here I change it to the exact values that I discussed over earlier there. But let's just go ahead and save this, <coughs> pop back to our DOS prompt here, GCC, right, and we'll just Type in B and hit tab, that'll fill that in for us. Minus O for the output file. And I'm gonna call it the same thing there. All right, so that'll compile it there. Take a look at directory now. We've got binary edition.exe. Let's go ahead and execute it. And that's what we end up with right there. All right, so you can actually see all the addition. One plus two equals three, right? One plus three equals four, right? Three plus three equals six. Nine plus seven equals 16. So that's basically how that works there. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that, close out of that, leave you guys with some final thoughts. Um, now I'd recommend spending some time mastering the concept of binary addition. You know, write some values in binary on a paper and practice, uh, you know, adding them together. It's a great little exercise for converting, you know, the decimal base 10 numbers to binary. Uh, then substitute values into the short values to double check your work, you know, from the, the program there, execute it. And one of the things, don't, uh, I'm going to bring this over here. I'm just basically reading from this. Now, don't even try to use negative values or exceed, or values that it could exceed 32,767. And I will explain why in the next tutorial. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.